Hello everybody, my name is Gamer 63 and um, oh hey, Chica's thinking about cupcakes. How uh, predictable. But um, in the last episode, Bonnie and Chica went on a date, and I got a bucket! But, let's do, but, let me show you something. Just watch. Serba, you may? I guess oh. that's a yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> So Bonnie and Chica are now married. Well, alrighty then. Now this is leading up to a very important thing that I have been thinking of since this series began. Something very dangerous. Something that could lead to the death of millions. Oh, well, now they're engaged. No, but this could lead to the deaths for millions. Okay? But yes, now they are officially engaged. Yay. But this is very serious. Um... I'm just gonna be right back because, I mean, this is gonna be pretty serious. I mean, just, no one will ever understand this. It has been brought to my attention that there is a noticeable lack of bathrooms. No, not, not toilets. Look at all these toilets. No, it has been brought to my attention that there is a noticeable lack of showers. Guess I'm gonna have to fix that, cause I fix everything around here, don't I? Uh, I I don't think that's supposed to be a thing. I got an achievement because Mike peed himself. Best gameplay ever. This this is exactly what was missing. From from all the other Sims games, the fact that you don't get rewarded for peeing yourself, because that's what we really need in our games: rewards for peeing yourself. M Mike passed out on the ground. Mike, I told you to go to bed. Why will no one leave your bed alone, Mike? We got a couch in the back room for a reason, guys. Mike needs sleep, too. Mango, what are you doing in my house? Pizzeria, security office, thing. Um, could you explain to me exactly what skill you are gaining while you are sleeping? Well, what are the point? No, Wh what are what's the point of these train tracks if, if they can't kill anyone? Oh yes, of course. Mike control to forums. He control all to Five Nights at Freddy's haters. Yes, yes, Mike. Do what you were always meant to do. I knew you were destined for greatness, Mike. Hello everybody, welcome back. So, as you may have seen in the last part where I was talking about something about how Mike was learning to troll to forums, you might have noticed something. And yes, Chica is now a mother. So, this is something I've been planning since the beginning of this series. So, Bonnie is the father, so let's see. Who do we know in the game... Who do we know who is a yellow bunny? It's it's Baneri from from Pokemon. No, I'm just kidding. It's Springtrap. The um, you know, brain block. Yeah, fine. The 
bunny. Yeah, we're not a spell, bunny. There, spring trap, the bunny. So I have an idea. So purple guy just seems like a huge egotist. So what if we got spring trap or no? <clears throat> uh huh. Yep, sure, Charlie. But what if we got um purple guy? To fall in love with himself. So many questions. So we're going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to go through deep philosophical rambling about what it means to be human. So yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Um, there are some things that I really need to clear up. Um, well, I mean, basically, with my Night 6 argument... Face it, I'm right. I'm sorry, no matter how you look at it, the idea I came up with is right. There is no way this kid could have gotten bit and died. He could have gotten bit, he could have lived, but he could not have gotten bit and died. Because if he had died, how would night 7 and 8 exist? And the mystery of that stupid chest! Seriously. I've even heard people say that it's John Cena in the chest. Like a lot of people, I just say it's it's probably the puppet, most likely. But what does that mean, though? Maybe, like... What's in the chest is like a final newspaper clipping. Something that'll tie all the games together. Like, like something. What if it's that? Or, um... Uh... Jeez, I, uh... I've pretty much got nothing here, um... Is is the game saved yet? Thank you, game. Oh yes, and uh, apparently Mango decided to visit. Hi, Mango. All right, mm. let's do some things. So I don't feel like having our characters age up naturally. So Bonnie, make a cake, and then put a birthday candle in. Uh, cook! Uh, white cake or cho chocolate cake? Chocolate! <gasps> chocolate! That's the second episode in the row I've made a Spongebob joke. Please don't sue me, Viacom. Please. Don't sue me. What? Bonnie, why are you running? You seem to be running. Oh, and, um... Yeah, so, um, I found a good use of that, uh, that random room, um, do, camera, do the things you're supposed to do. Yeah, I found something we can use this room for. Uh, what do I would love to bet this is the best for? I mean, there's no denying it. This, this is the best door out there. Wait a minute. I have an absolutely terrifying idea. What if... Sweet, it's shift and... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Wait, the, the baby doesn't grow with it? Hold on. We'll fix it later, but... The baby doesn't grow with it? Huh. Alright, back to build mode. But I'm telling you, I had my fingers crossed this whole time that nothing would go wrong like a catastrophic crash on my computer. I mean, hardware-wise, my game is like a piece of tissue paper. Physically, I don't know, 
and frankly I don't want to find out because something tells me finding a no be normal sized again thank you I just something tells me that if I have to physically figure out how how strong this computer is physically something tells me I'm not going to like the results all right Bonnie you keep making that cake yep you keep baking those lies yo Chico whoa why are you not dressed properly Chico change your outfit Okay, there's very important things that I do here, okay? Just trying to manage this many sims at once drives me insane, okay? Just like, in The Sims 3, I could manage up to the maximum of 8 sims at once. Here, I can barely manage 3 because of how frequent their emotions change. Huh? Yeah, the moment of Sims, no moment of Sims life is more joyous than the birth of a child. Yeah. So, uh, yep, you go ahead and make that cake. Why are you thinking about cupcakes when you're making a cake, okay? Cupcake machine is right here. What I wouldn't give to have an automatic cupcake maker. I mean, seriously. Alright, here's our new baby, Springtrap the Bunny. And we cannot see Lecter. Oh, I well, you know, Bonnie got to level 3 in the cooking skill. And oh my god, Mike. This is why you can't have nice things. Because you don't take care of them. Alright. Oh, but don't worry about it, Mike. I have unlimited monies. Alright, hold on. So, how do we... Why does it seem like anything anyone makes here is... Alright, add birthday candles. And someone needs to go get that baby and have her blow out the candles. Uh, more choices. Oh, well, we gotta age her up to begin with. And then when she is a child, we'll give her cake. Because, I don't know, birthday cake makes you agey. Oh my god, wait a minute. What if at my next birthday, I, I don't have a cake? Could I potentially <laughs> live forever? <laughs> Springtrap the bunny is becoming a child today. Yes! Select a trait and childhood aspiration. Artistic prodigy, run back. Uh, what is the most evil I can think of? Uh, nope, not Rambo. Just scan. Yep. Alright, so... Ah, uh, crap. I remember exactly what Purple Guy was. See, I want this character to be exactly what Purple Guy is. So, Purple Guy was evil, insane, and he hated children. So, you'll be evil. will be evil. Alright, go blow out those candles. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Wait, no, wait. Hold on a minute. No, no, no. Don't edge up that side. Don't trap the bunny. No, we are not sending you to school because I don't feel like doing that, okay? Hey. Hey. Hey, Freddy. Clean yourself up. Uh, this is not what I figured. Hmm. No, don't brighten his day. Freddy. Yeah, that's right, Freddy. You go take a shower. Wash off the filth of all that blood! It's gonna be pretty awkward, um, living in a house with, uh, with someone you murdered. But they murdered you first, and then they murdered you again in your robot form. So then you in your spirit form chase them into a robot that murdered them, and... I should stop talking, because this is confusing. And I should probably...
come back when um doesn't uh aren't you supposed to be aging up i like trains seriously why are the train tracks there if they can't kill anyone hey look there's the five nights of phrase one building in the distance i think oh yeah there we go there she's the teen now from birth all right you know what i'm gonna be right back huh all right wait a minute Oh, yes, I like that music. All right, um, soulmate. Uh, yep, he was a spring trap is public enemy, and uh, he was evil, insane. I mean, face it, this is basically purple guy. So, um. Wait a minute, do we? I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with my sailor. Yeah, let's just add birthday candles again. Trust me. What What is this I hear of about actually waiting and treasuring childhood? I never had a childhood. Well, I mean, I had a childhood until middle school. Then I just got stressed and then my hair started turning gray and falling out. And just put the candles in the cake! Is it that complicated? Good. Now blow out the candles. Huh? Take these. It would be real to slice the birthday cake. Just blow out the candles, okay? I don't care what's nice or etiquette or makes sense, okay? This is a video game. This is why we play video games. Because video games don't make sense. Because they let you do things you can't do in real life. Can you... Blow out candles and instantly become a teenager in real life? No! No, you can't! This is why we play video games! And where was I even going with this? I don't know! Yeah, that's right, you blow out those candles, then you become a young adult and get that final personality trait, and then I'm gonna make you not look like that, because that is not what I expected, alright? Ugh, God. Feel young adulthood, yeah, whatever. Um. Alright. Evil, blah, blah, blah. let's see, insane, evil, and uh, it's children. Cause that's what we want in our characters. And this is this is a pr this is the best I can do with Purple Guy, right? <laughs> also, Purple Guy has undergone a bit of a change, but uh, you know, the glasses actually make her look cute. Springtrap is evil. Evil Sims are happy from the misery of others. Yep, of course. You know what? I'm gonna be right back okay there this is spring trap believe me I know exactly what I'm doing anyway this is an exceptionally long video and I think that is it for this episode everyone I am glad you watched all the way through watch my completely pointless antics thank you so much and I will see you next time goodbye everyone <laughs>